Your doctors are depending on a special band of unsung heroes to help them treat your cancer. At LLS, we call these heroes the Extraordinary League of Blood Cancer Tests. Today, we'll meet the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. If you're asked to have a PCR test, you may have questions like, why did my doctor order it? And what exactly is it? And what can I expect? So let's start with the first one. Why did my doctor order it? See, sometimes your doctor will need to study the DNA of your cancer cells to diagnose and check your molecular response to a treatment. Trying to study an isolated piece of DNA, however, is very difficult. PCR is a technique where a doctor removes some blood or bone marrow. They use the sample to amplify and copy small segments of DNA, sort of like molecular photocopying. It is a very sensitive test that can measure the presence of biological markers in your blood or marrow cells. The PCR test is so sensitive it can measure remaining blood cancer cells that other tests can't detect. It can also diagnose and check your molecular response to treatment. If the doctor only needs a blood sample for your PCR, it's all pretty simple. It usually happens in one of two ways. In the first, a nurse or clinician inserts a needle into a vein, usually in the fold of your arm, to remove a small amount of blood. The nurse may also do a finger prick. However, your doctors may need more than just blood. They may need your bone marrow sample. Bone marrow is the spongy tissue in the center of most bones that produces blood cells. The doctor will clean the site and apply some local anesthetic with two injections, first to the skin near your hip bone and then to the bone surface itself. You may also receive a light sedation medication. Once you're numbed up, the doctor will insert a hollow needle into the hip bone. At that point, they may either perform an aspiration, which removes the liquid part of the bone marrow, or they may remove a very small amount of the bone itself. Often they'll take both kinds of samples at once. Once the anesthesia wears off, you'll be able to go home. Be aware, you may experience bleeding and a slight bone pain that may last for a few days. But the results are really worth it. PCR allows more sensitive follow-up of your disease status and can help determine whether new or additional treatments are necessary. So fear not, PCR and the Extraordinary League of Blood Cancer Tests will always be there to bravely light the way on your journey towards recovery.